Okay, um, I'm back up on the roof and here's my maintenance setup. Um, I don't know, it mostly, mostly the, the J boxes are covered. So it's not easy to access them. Um, I think it's critical that you get your wiring. Um, you kind of lead your wiring over on um, this, this side over here. Um, and then you just have tie wraps that you can kind of just snip real quickly um, or some sort of clips um, to where you can just lean the, the panel up. Um, the problem that I have is um, that I had I as soon as you loosen those as soon as you loosen those bolts right there your panel is gonna slide right uh, so I had to anchor I had to come up rig some rope to, to anchor the panels from sliding when I loosen the bolts of course this one um, right over here has the bolts are fastened on this one but then you're just relying on those two bolts instead of all four to hold it so I had to secure this panel right here too and then of course I had to find well I lucky I came up with a perfect piece of wood but this is a nice little and it, it's also providing some shade too <laughs> but um, this gave me some new enlightenment on um, on you know how you would construct for servicing you know if you need to access the J box to add on or debug a problem um, it's nice to have that in mind when you're placing your J box and you're rigging up um, your panel okay I've uh, got my ohm meter set to uh, to uh, volt scale and I've got a probe on my conduit which is running which is running to ground and you can kind of see that I've capped these are the this is the end phase wiring in yellow that I've capped and this is capped uh, wire from the the end phase combiner so what I'm gonna do is go on to probe the uh, um, end phase I'm sorry the combiner uh, black wire and I've got 116 volts which is expected and so now I'm gonna probe under the cap of the um, the red wire something's, something's, oh there it goes so I got 117 volts and could be the different voltage just because you know maybe my ground isn't so good I'm just using ground so anyway um, that is good so now the next step is to um, to go ahead and hook the end phase up to this um, but of course I'm gonna shut off my panel first downstairs I'm gonna I'm gonna shut all the electricity off while I will I rewire the panel now here's an interesting question I'm basically I've turned off the electricity to um, to, to this to these leads here that go down to the bottom of the house I'm getting ready to marry these wires up so here's a question the Sun is out the panels are up you can kind of see that um, the end phase box is blinking red the microinverters in this I'm assuming the whole string is in this current state um, how much voltage should you expect to read off of these two wires? Obviously, these electronics take they take some power, and they're doing something to sense uh, utility power. But what would be what what would be the voltage that you would expect to see on these lines in this state? Okay, so it's probably going to be pretty low voltage. So you're going to have to go on to the um, probably like the 20 volt scale or the 2 to 20 volt scale to see of the voltmeter I'm sorry assuming it's, it's AC assuming that um, it's going to be AC voltage and um, so let's let's now I've got my my probe on ground let's see what I'm reading here so I'm reading 0.63 volts off the um, off the red and I'm reading 0.63 off the black. So um, 
this might be a normal state where the end phase is just looking for utility power and uh, of course um, if I really if I'm I'm interested in seeing if um, I'm gonna get shocked here um, after turn on the power it doesn't look like I'm gonna get shocked so I think the multimeter is a nice thing to have just in case things go awry and I think that it would be best if if you could test the end phase uh, cable this um, DC cable for shorts before you um, when you're down in the garage and likewise it's probably best to test to pre-test your panels before you take go to all the trouble on taking them to the roof and then alternatively it's good to test this wiring here first give it a test to make sure that it's not connected to ground in some way before you flip on the breaker with the um, going on to the um, going on to the ohm scale here and then secondly just heat it up uh, without the end phase connected and test your AC voltage before you hook up the end phase because you know if it if it if it if it's not good um, why bother hooking up the end phase to it and just sort of pray that it's gonna work just um, be a little more methodical on your installs um, that's that's what I took away from this uh, experience